Hi everyone, it's Barry here from Matusa Crafts, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based here in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me today and thank you for joining me for this Stamp Around UK video hop. Today's theme for the hop is monochrome and I have decided to use the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set, this one here, pairing it with the Biggest Wish stamp set, this one here because it's got some obviously it's got some really nice big bold sentiments on it so i'm going to be pairing it with that and i'm also going to be pairing that with the new um designer series paper so this is some designer series paper which is free of charge during celebration now celebration starts in a couple of days time actually so celebration starts on the 3rd of august and runs until the 30th of september and basically if you don't know what celebration is for every 45 pound you spend you get to pick a free item out of the celebration catalog now one of the items which is free of charge in there is a paper pack so it's some designer series paper and it's called beautifully penned so what you get is you get some 12 by 12 sheets of paper which are these here, that's just, which are these ones right here. So you get four of each of these patterns. So you get 12 sheets of paper, so four of each. So this is one side. And if I turn this over, you get these ones right here. So some dots and a nice floral ones. And they are black and white. Um, so which is why it fitted perfectly for me for today's project. All right, so these papers you can get free of charge with a £45 spend. Um, and remember, there's 12, so you get four of each design in the pack. So it's great. So you can make some lovely cards with this paper pack. I can say that is in the celebration brochure um, very soon. And also the new mini catalogue here as well launches as well very, very soon. So if you haven't got a copy of the catalogues, please contact us and we'll be happy to pop one in the post to you. So yes, yeah, so as I said, I'm gonna be making a, um, a black and white card and I'm also gonna be making a box envelope to go with it as well. So I'll talk you through everything which is needed to be done. Um, but this is a video hop. So remember, links down can be found down below in the description for everyone else who is in this hop. So once you've finished watching my one, please check out the links down below in the description and then follow on and see the other amazing ideas which the other ladies and gents have created for this monochrome video hop. Okay, so I'm gonna crack on, sit back, relax and enjoy, and I'll show you how to make a simple card and box envelope for it. Enjoy. Okay, so what you're gonna need is to take some um, basic white thick and we're gonna create a card base. So I'm going for some, this is non-traditional sizes, this one. So I'm going a little bit off piste. So we have got a piece here. I'll give it to you in centimetres first, and then I'll give it to you in inches. So I've got a piece here which is 19 centimetres by 15.2 centimetres, and I've scored that at 9.5. So in inches, that there is 7.5 by 6, scored at 3 and 3 quarters. And that there is my card base. I've got myself a bit of basic black cardstock here. This is measuring 13.6 by 7.6 or this is 5 and 3 eighths by 3 inches which is there and I've also got myself another bit of basic white which is measuring 13.1 by 7.1 or that's 5 and 3 sixteenths by 2 and 13 sixteenths. Okay so that's those pieces. I've got a bit of the designer series paper, which we are using out of the packs, this stripy one right here. This is measuring three quarters of an inch by five inches, or that is two centimeters by 12.7 centimeters. All right, so that's that one. So we can go ahead and we're gonna be using some embossing folders. So I want to emboss this layer right here before I do anything else. So I've actually decided to use the Meadow Moments embossing folders because I'm pairing this with the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set as well. This has got some lovely butterflies in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna emboss this very quickly. And I'm gonna be using our mini machine to cut this, or to, sorry, to emboss this, because this fits through this perfectly. And there we have it. That there has now been embossed. And can you see how stunning that looks. It's a lovely embossing folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick this directly down onto my black layer like this. 
and then that can then get stuck directly down onto the card base. Okay, so that there is our card base ready. So we're gonna move on to the next part. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping with the butterflies and a little bit of die cutting as well. So the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set is this one here. It comes as a large stamp, which is this one here. So you can make some lovely butterfly backgrounds and it comes with one large die as well. Just to show you the dies. Comes with one large die which will cut all of them out okay so you can get yourself lots of individual butterflies in one stamp so but obviously i only want this large one right here so it doesn't matter i can still do some partial die cutting so i'm just going to ink this part up i'm going to stamp it and i'm just going to die cut that part so you will need a large machine for this one and it also has some detailed dies so you've got these ones as well which is some detailed butterflies and I'm gonna use this large detailed one, which is a mirror image of that one right there. All right, so I'm gonna use that die and the large detailed one. Okay, so before I do that, what I need to do is I need to ink up my stamp. So again, I'm only gonna be inking up the large one. I am gonna go around onto the outside, so you are gonna waste a little bit of paper with this one, um, but that's fine. So just try and keep, I'm just gonna ink it up Obviously, it's going to go around onto the outsides of this as well, but I'm not worried about that. And I'll take my bit of paper and I will then stamp that down. Like so. All right. Then I'm going to then die cut this out. So when I die cut this out, all I'm going to do is obviously do that. Obviously, I am going to lose bits around this, so just be aware of that one. Um, if you really wanted to, you could probably snip or break these off if you wanted to, but I'm not fussed about that. I am just going to just keep them as a whole and die cut that one out. Whilst I've got my die cut out, I'm going to cut the detailed one out, but I'm going to cut this one out of the designer series paper like this here to give it some really nice pattern. So I'm going to run this through with that designer series paper. Okay, so there is those two pieces right there. All right, so you've got some nice detail on that one. And then that's the detailed one. And obviously the pattern paper is just giving that some nice detail as well. What I want to do is I just want to stick these two together. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the body of the detailed one. And then I'm then just going to overlay this over this one right here. Because they match which works lovely okay so you've got that one so you've got your detailed wings there and then you've got your butterfly underneath so good so that's that one we pop that to one side and i come back to that one in a second what we've got here is we have got this strip of paper so this is a designer series paper so this here was the one which measured two inches two centimeters sorry by 12.7 or three quarters of an inch by five inches, this one here. What you want to do is you wanna grab yourself a ruler and just pop a pencil mark at five, five eighths of an inch on either side, or that's 1.5 centimeters. So I'm just gonna go 1.5 centimeters and just pop like a little mark at the top here and then do the same on the opposite side. And then what we're going to do is we are going to then grab our snips and we're going to cut from corner to that mark there and we're going to cut from the, sorry I should do that on the opposite side so it's 
1.5. So you've got what if you'd marked it on one side and you want to mark it at 1.5 centimeters on that side here. And then you want to then go from that mark to the corner. That's that. So you've now got yourself a piece which looks like this. This can go ahead and get stuck down directly down onto the card base in the middle like this. So put some glue all the way across all of this and stick it all down completely. And then position that in the center like that. And then we will then take our butterfly and we can then stick our butterfly over that completely like this. So put some glue on the whole back of this butterfly and stick this down. So I'm gonna leave this sentiment this on the actual card. So you can then write your, your you can then write a, a message on the inside, like so. So I'm not actually gonna pop anything on the outside, but I am gonna pop a sentiment on the envelope or the box envelope. So that there, that there is the card. Now to finish this off, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some gems and I'm gonna pop some of these gems. So these are the, the matte black dots and I'm going to pop a couple of these down the body of this butterfly. So using your take your pick tool I'll take these matte black dots out and I'll use the small one and I'm just going to put four or five along the body here. I think that then just finishes that butterfly off quite nicely. So there is my monochrome card, black and white version. You could quite easily do this in other colors as well. So you could choose a different color layer. You could then stamp the butterfly in that layer. You could then find some designer series paper in the coordinating color. So the we, we have some nice paper packs in the catalog as well, which are which match the colours for each of the colours, um, an in-colour one, so you could really do this in lots and lots of colours, and it will be absolutely amazing. So I'd just like to say, um, thank Betty Hepner for the idea for this one here. This is actually a, a, a case very similar to the card which she sent us. So I'd just like to thank Betty for the um, idea of this one. I did ask you for permission as well, so thank you very much for giving me permission to case your gorgeous card you sent us. So good, so that's that. So what I'm gonna do now though, is I'm now gonna make a box for it. So you can pop this in an envelope if you want to, but I think making a box envelope for it is just, um, just finishes this card off. It makes it a little bit more special. Okay, so, so to make the box envelope for this, we're gonna take a bit of basic um, white thick, and I'm gonna cut this down to an eight by eight inches. So that is 20 points three centimeters so do this as eight by eight this is easy if you can work in inches on this one it's easier to work in inches so an eight by eight all right and then what we want to do is we then want to actually I'll leave the arm open it's easier we now want to do some scoring now if you've got an envelope punch board we this will be a lot easier for you but if you haven't got an envelope punch board this is how you can make it without them okay so you can make these box envelopes with your trimmer so i'm going to now line up point to point so this point and this point down here with certain marks on the ruler now luckily this ruler has got the measurements top and at the bottom which makes this easy for lining up okay so I'm going to measure this, I'm going to line this two sides of the map, I need to line it up with eight centimetres, so I'm going to line a point up at eight here, and then I'm going to do the same, and I'm going to line a point up at eight down at the bottom. Okay, I know you can't see the bottom, but you just have to trust me, I've got the points lined up eight here, and the same is done down the bottom here as well. Taking my scorer, and then I'm going to then score. And then I'm going to move it over to eight and a half, And the same eight and a half. See, I'm doing this in centimeters. So it's an eight by eight piece of paper, but I'm now working in centimeters. I'm so sorry to confuse you. So eight and a half centimeters by eight and a half. And then repeat that on the opposite side. So eight and eight and a half. So that there is three and a one eighth by three and three eighths. And then 
the score. And then take that to eight and a half. So you've got two pieces which look like this. Now we're going to want to work on the opposite side. So we're now going to do this at five centimetres and five and a half, which is two inches and two and a quarter. In case you've got something which looks like that now, and that then is the size for the card on the inside here. All right, so what we want to do is we want to now grab our snips and we want to take away these corners. So we're gonna cut in along that score line, down to the score line, and then take this triangle away there. All right, do that on all four sides for me. Okay, so that's what you're now left with. And then we can unfold and burnish all of these lines. All right, so that there is the box envelope nearly finished. So that then fits in like that. And then we can then fold things over and then that then keeps that nice and secure. So we're just going to pop some, we'll pop some glue on here, but I, what I want to do is I want to decorate the inside first. Okay, so to decorate the inside, we're going to need a bit of designer series paper here. So this is, me this is measuring six, in six inches by seven and three eighths of an inch, okay? Which is then going to fit in like so, and then go up here. What I want to do though, is I want to pop a pencil line or a, at least a mark around about here and here. So it's the same gap which I've got on the edge, so sort the of border. And then I can then take, cut from here up to the center part. So I've just lined that. So you can see I've got, a pen, I've got a mark here, which is the same gap here. And I'm gonna pop a pencil mark up the top here. And I'm gonna cut from that to that. And then this one to this one to create the triangle. And then that then will then fit in there perfectly. Okay, decorating the inside of this envelope. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stick this into the inside of this envelope. Okay, so that there is the inside of this envelope done. And then we just need to then just fold and burnish this one over again because we've now got the paper. Doing that, so just pop your bone folder over this one more time, and then to close this envelope up, what we would do is we just will pop on some glue on the inside tabs here very gently, there and there, and then close this up. And that's how you can make yourself a box envelope without a envelope punch board. Okay, just let that dry off a little bit first before you go ahead and stick that in. And then that closes down. Obviously for you for closing this, closing this up, you're gonna probably need to use some kind of glue dot or if you want to use a magnet, you can use some mag magnets on there as well to give it a proper closure. Um, but there you go, that's that one right there. And then that fits that card in perfectly, like so. All right, really, really nice. Now we just need to decorate the front right here. So I'm gonna take myself a bit of scrap paper again. And what I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using the Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I'm gonna use this one right here. And I've also got another piece, which is like what we did for the inside of the card. So it's exactly the same measurements here. I've got exactly the same piece and we're gonna use that one. So just cut yourself another piece of that. And I'm just gonna now run this through the machine and die cut this banner out. Okay, so that's that one there. And then I'm gonna use the sentiment. So as I've said, I'm gonna be using the biggest wish stamp set here and I'm gonna write hello 
on the, or stamp hello on this banner. So I'm just gonna be keeping it tone on tone again. So I'm gonna be going with the black memento and then just stamp this in the center of this here. And there we have it. All right, so we've now got that sentiment done on our banner. Now, just to simply decorate the front of this card, we will stick that down over here. And then that can then go on the front like that. There we have it. There is a box envelope for you for the card you have just made. So we've got that there. Open this up and decorated envelope with your monochrome card here. And then you can just write your sentiment. So it's a sentimentless card. And there we have it. So good, I hope you enjoyed that. So thank you very much for joining me for today's Stamp Around UK video harp. Remember, like I said at the beginning, links to everyone else can be found down below in the description as well. So please hop along with everyone else and see what amazing projects they have created for this month. Um, I'm really interested to see everyone's take on monochrome. Um, so yeah, so good. So I hope you, so as I said, I hope you enjoyed that. Please, um, please give us the thumbs up if you have hit the subscribe button down here as well and hit that all notif that all notifications bell to be notified of every video which we pop out so you don't miss anything good and juicy so lovely thank you very much for watching and i will see you again very soon um with our regular videos and again next month the beginning of next month for another stamp around uk a video hop tutorial see you soon bye bye for now bye